of the day. And this one actually involves sports. So I tied it all together. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with Miss Faith and her keeping the face Faith. Faith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, what do you have so, for me? This NBA star always dreamed of being a teacher, so students in Brooklyn got the substitute teacher of a lifetime. For most basketball players, making it to the NBA is the ultimate dream, but Brooklyn Nets star McCall Bridge, Michael McCall? Michael McCall, Bridges. McCall Bridges. McCall, yes. Okay. McCall Bridges has another dream as well. My other dream was being a second grade teacher, uh, the small forward told CBS News. I just I think just helping the kids has always been a big thing of mine. Why second grade? Because I loved second grade when I was young, he said. I feel like that was one of the years I really remember uh, just having a great year. I had a great teacher named Miss Porter, and I just feel like I always loved second grade. Growing up in Philadelphia, Bridges was inspired by Miss Porter to follow that dream. He got to do that this month, uh, which was this happened in March, so last month, mm -hmm. um, at PS 134 in Brooklyn, where he worked as a teacher for the day. The Nets got in around 1.30 a.m. the night before after beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 120-101. to The player had a long night, but he was committed to teaching those kids. Their energy was just like, what, you got me going so fast, they got me excited, Bridges said. They, he started the day playing basketball in gym class with fourth graders. The 6'6 player who was drafted in the NBA in 2018 organized a game of knockout for the kids and answered their questions. One student had a question that surprised him. Why do you how do you incorporate your personal life with your professional life? Uh, he said, I like that question. He said, it's not that bad, actually. I think the biggest thing is time. In season, you don't have that much time because I travel a lot, but I have been in it about six years now, so I found a good balance hanging out with friends and relaxing and preparing for the games. Uh, her next question in it was, if your family comes to your games, do they get free tickets? His answer is yes. Uh, another question was, why didn't you be a teacher if you wanted to be? Um, he responded, because of basketball, but basketball doesn't go forever, he said. This is just the first part of my journey, so I think teacher is going to come up next, trying to do both. After gym, he went to the first grade music class. They were teaching me on their little xylophones. I didn't know what I was doing, what the teacher was teaching. He said, the kid next to me was pointing on the board, follow that, follow that. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Many kids seize the opportunity to tell Bridges they too play basketball. On the play playground at recess, they marveled at how tall he was and once stopped their ball game to ask Bridges for a hug. At lunch, lunch, he answered the first grade's riddles and then he taught his favorite class, math. That's where perhaps his inclination for teaching others began. Math came easy to me. I feel like I was probably one of the smartest math kids in our class, he said, adding that he was when he was a kid he helped other students I'll try to teach them like oh this is how I learned it this way uh, it was pretty simple to me this way just think of just think of this way. The kids couldn't get enough of their temporary teacher, Mr. Bridges, and while meeting an NBA star is a kid's dream, meeting these students fulfilled a dream for him. A lot of days were in school, he said, <laughs> and were with our teachers, and I think they just don't get enough credit because we're around them a lot, and you know what I'm saying, and they help us become better people every day, and I think some are overlooked a little bit. Bridges said he hopes to become a teacher or even a principal after the NBA. So, cute little story. Actually, that is a good, that's a good story. Okay, that's story. a good story. Now, <laughs> the first thing that popped in my head, and we'll talk on uh, Mikhail Bridges in a second, but mm -hmm. do you remember second grade? Like, I, that's a grade you I skip remember, in, my, in my head. I, remember I think of first grade, grade a little bit. I really, see, I think of first grade, fifth grade, middle school, just one whole clump, and then your high school years. That's kind of the way I look at it. I remember bits and pieces of my second grade because I loved my second grade teacher. So, Miss Sue. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. are, do, you, do you talk to any of your old teachers? Yes. So, my parents actually teach in the county that I went to school at. So, and it's a very small county. So, my parents are actually like friends and work with some of the teachers that I had growing up oh, as a kid. Baby. So, like, 
Yes, I I still talk to some of my um, elementary school, middle school, and high school teachers. So yeah. Okay, so I said most people do not. I still Miss Kuliki. I had her for third grade and fourth grade, and then my sister had her. My cousins had him. Mm -hmm. nieces every everyone in our families had her mm -hmm. and so she's become like a family friend mm -hmm. that everyone just everyone loves her yeah you know matter of fact our, from a small town she's one of the most beloved teachers you mm -hmm. uh in my in our town so still stay in contact with her uh and things but i'm not, i when i am outside of my hometown you don't see too many people that actually have stayed in contact with a lot of yeah. teachers. Mm -hmm. So I was just kind of curious about this. This is a good story. Mm -hmm. I like this because of the fact that sometimes people forget that athletes are people. Yeah. And athletes have other dreams outside of catching a ball, dribbling a ball, shooting a ball. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those situations where Yes, basketball is just one little small part of mm -hmm. his life. Basketball is going to be one of the shortest parts of his life. Mm -hmm. uh, but then having a plan of what he's going to do after basketball and wanting to be a teacher and give back, I mm -hmm. think that's so important. Teachers don't get enough credit. No, you know, they do not. <laughs> being a teacher gives you no street cred at all. <laughs> Zero. Am I? You know what I mean? Him it's a thankless being able, job for sure. Right. Him being able to be a teacher gives him that ability to, you know, bring attention to teachers and kind of what they do mm -hmm. uh, and things. Not not enough of these stories come out of an NBA, NBA player coming back to teach at a school for a mm -hmm. day or for whatever time. Or Jalen Rose starting a school for for elementary and middle school kids or LeBron mm -hmm. James starting starting his school in Akron. There are tons of these stories out there, letter, mm -hmm. where players have created programs for kids to get their education and, and give back to the community. And these stories are not covered. Mm -hmm. uh, and so having something like this and talking about something like this, I think is just amazing. Yeah. You know, and then kind of hearing what the kids are saying <laughs> and all of that, I thought that was kind of cool. Now, with your you coming from a family of teachers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how do like stories like this, do, do they are they even aware of like some of these things that go on? My parents, yes, or just in general, the teachers oh. in general. You grew up in a you know in a world where teachers are, you know, you're around a lot of. Yeah, I don't know. I don't okay. know if they're aware of stuff that stuff like this goes on. I don't know. I mean, regardless, my parents love their job. They love those kids. My mom is a kindergarten teacher, and she loves. Every minute of her job loves it so much. Isn't your brother so, a teacher as well? My brother teaches high school, I believe. Yes, my brother okay. is also a teacher, and my dad was a middle school math teacher, but he is a um, middle school counselor now. So, so I'm going to ask this question. Maybe you should be asking this on air. Why didn't Faith go into education? Because Faith was surrounded by teachers her entire <laughs> life. <laughs> and Faith saw all the negative things that come along with being a teacher and they did not weigh the positives did not weigh out the negatives for me. So I did not become a teacher. See, I think you'd be an I think you'd be a cute, awesome teacher. I have thought about maybe later in my life going back to school and getting a degree and becoming a high school English teacher because I love English. I love Shakespeare. I love everything like that. So it has, I have thought about it um, because journalism is a very, is also a very hard, thankless job. Ooh, um, yes, it is. But teachers at least get paid summers off and some benefits. <laughs> so <Yes. laughs> I have thought, I have considered it, but right now um, it's, it's no for me. <laughs> See, I, I like it. Either if it was me and I, someone asked me, okay, Tate, would you be a teacher? 
either I would go elementary school or I'd go college. I would not touch middle school and I would not touch high school See, at I, all. I thought about being a college professor, but I did not want to go to school for like 10 years to get a doctorate. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm being, I'm, 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 go, I'm going for either. I got to be a, a college professor. Me, you, you, did you know what I mean? There's a difference with the, when mm -hmm. the kids get that, that middle school, high school age where they, they're kind of finding themselves and, Sometimes they think they have all the answers. That's mm -hmm. a tough, that's a tough group to teach. Well, high school was, high school was hard for everybody. And I did have a couple of teachers that helped me along the way in high school that mm -hmm. if I didn't have those teachers, I don't know if I would have made it in high school. <laughs> um, no, those so... teachers, the, those teachers, I, I agree. Those teachers that are at the high school level they have such a massive impact mm -hmm. on your life, I feel like. Uh, but it is, I feel like high school was the ultimate thankless job. Yeah. You, you, especially with some of the parents. Uh, sometimes people don't realize what what that the was, teacher goes through. What was that? That was one of the negatives on my list was dealing with parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could, it could be tough because people yeah. people look at their their kid is becoming an adult, mm -hmm. but their kid is still a kid. Yeah, and so the parents still look at their 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 daughter or their son as their kid. Mm -hmm. where kids are thinking of themselves as an adult and sometimes mm -hmm. parents can't believe my kid would never do this. Mm -hmm. Somebody else had to have done this or something. He was provoked or things. It'd yeah. be too tough. So changing it back to the original story of uh, the thing back to Bridges doing this is it brings another layer to recognizing that an athlete's coming in. What impacts me is the fact that these kids will remember this forever. Mm -hmm. I remember when we had an NBA player come and teach second grade for a day. Mm -hmm. You know, that's powerful. Yeah, and so is. he's gonna have an impact on those kids' lives forever. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be you're gonna be talking, you're gonna be talking, kids are gonna be talking about that for years to come. So I do like that story. Yeah, and I feel like you don't really hear much about like what NBA players say they're gonna do after they're out of the NBA. Like I think, you know, they don't really do anything after that. Maybe like start start a business or some clothing, you know, like Michael Jordan does with the shoes, clothing brand, whatever like that. But they don't really have to do anything. And I think a lot of them choose not to. And so it's it's sweet to like see that he's like, yeah, after I'm done with basketball, like I think I want to become a, a teacher or a principal even in education. And I think that's so cute. So sweet. Yeah, that's that's you know what? That's the thing. Not enough people talk about these guys, the schools that they start. There's a you, there's a lot more to do things than you realize. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's the schools that are uh, that are created by some of these guys how they give back to the different communities. It's just not talked about. So I love that this was talked about. Yeah. So this is an A plus keeping the faith moment. Give me faith <laughs> in the, Thank you. In, Thank in the you. NBA and, <laughs> and their players a little bit. Yeah. All righty, guys. Well, with that, we are going to close out our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning into the Andrew Tate Show presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Your support means a lot to us, so please remember to subscribe to the show and leave a positive review. It really does make a difference. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content updates. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you tomorrow. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work.